an extremely thin creature, not much wider than a number two pencil, yet it's one of the longest animals alive today, sometimes rivaling or perhaps surpassing the mighty blue whale in length, growing at astonishing sizes of up to 50 meters. Welcome back to Naturely, today we're checking out the longest animal ever recorded on earth. We're talking about the famous bootlace worm. As always, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more interesting content and let's just get right into it. The bootlace worm, also formerly known by experts as the Linnaeus longissimus, is a truly peculiar creature. It has no heart, no spine, nor body segments. It lurks in mud, sand, and rocky crevices around the North Atlantic. Its mucus is surprisingly toxic, and when hunger strikes, it summons a winding branch-like appendage that gets turned inside out. In order to make any sense of the bootlace worm, you have to step back and take a look at its peculiar branch on the great tree of life. Linnaeus longissimus is the largest member of the animal Philium nemertia, also known as the ribbon worms or the prosposis worms. This group includes about 1,200 documented species. Unlike the more familiar earthworms, which aerate our soil and keep bait shops in business, bootlace worms do not have segmented bodies. The blood of a ribbon worm is held in a series of vessels. When the walls of these constrict, the blood inside is pushed in one direction or the other, allowing it to circulate through the body. The normal muscle contractions associated with swimming and crawling help this process. No heart is required to keep the blood flowing on this alien-like living organism. As previously highlighted, one defining trait of the Nemertia philium is a tubular feeding structure called the prosposis. Usually, it's tucked away in a specialized pouch. However, when the need arises, a ribbon worm applies pressure to the area. That force drives the prosposis tube outside the body by quite literally flipping its inside out. All this can happen in a matter of seconds. And you must be wondering, okay, but why? Ribbon worms eat a variety of different things, like crabs, snails, and animal carcasses. A few species are even herbivorous. Having a quick draw prosposis really helps these legless animals catch and manipulate food. On many ribbon worms, albeit not the bootlace, this elaborate tube is fitted with sharp little barbs. Sometimes the prosposis is also used as digging tool and it can definitely freak out predators who try to eat the worms. You can't blame other creatures for feeling confused or even a bit intimidated by this intriguing display. Certain ribbon worms can double their body length just by whipping out their prosposis. If John Carpenter ever remakes the thing again, Linnaeus longissimus should definitely audition. As a wrap-up, the first documented encounter of a carcass from this monstrous worm was back in the year 1864, when reportedly it was washed ashore in Scotland. From end to end, it was set to measure, wait for it, more than 180 feet, which is the equivalent to 55 meters long. As we always say, Earth is packed with infinite mysteries, and every day that goes by, new ones unravel. For now, the longest creature on Earth can be safely said that it's the Linnaeus longissimus, but taking into account how the dark, deep depths of the oceans are, when will a new giant, longer creature emerge? This was Naturally, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you want to, feel free to support the channel by dropping a like and subscribe, and as always, wish you all a wonderful day.